uncertain future. Acting Mayor Jack Young continues his work for Baltimore City as Mayor Pugh continues her leave of absence. Hello again, everyone. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Lynn Bowie. It is a full slate Tuesday for Acting Mayor Jack Young. WJC is live at City Hall this noon where Young met with his cabinet. Paul Gessler has more on what's on tap for him in week one of his new role. Hey, Paul. Well, hi, Nicole and Lynn. Good afternoon to you. It is now day eight for Jack Young as acting mayor of Baltimore City while Catherine Pugh remains on a leave of absence. Tuesday morning, Jack Young wrapped up a meeting with Baltimore City's department heads in an effort to show city services are unaltered amid a scandal involving Mayor Catherine well, Pugh. It's basically to keep government moving. It's not to not upset the apricot, but to keep city services moving. Our citizens are demanding that services be continued. Pew is on indefinite leave, citing her health. She's under investigation for multiple state and local agencies after receiving payments from several companies and entities for her Healthy Holly Children's books, totaling at least $700,000. Our city needs to heal right now. Um, it needs to move forward. It needs to restore the trust that the public has in the leadership. Monday, all 14 members of council asked Pew to step down. She replied she fully intends to return. One of her top aides, Jim Smith, announced last week he was resigning his position in the mayor's office. Young says all other members of Pew's staff are staying. I want them to continue to do their job um, until such time as um, the mayor comes back or if she doesn't come back, I want them to continue doing the job that they're doing. And that's moving the city forward. Back live now here at City Hall. Young is meeting with Maryland's congressional delegation later this afternoon in Washington, D.C. at 3.30 before coming back here to Baltimore City for a 6 o'clock taxpayers' night here at the War Memorial across from City Hall. And that's where we are reporting live this noon hour. Paul Gessler for WJZ.